This video reviews how to add a column of data to an Excel workbook using the Python library OpenPy Excel. Here is the working document with a random assortment of numbers. You can see there are a lot of columns of data and a lot of rows of data. We're not entirely sure how many columns of data we have, which can often be the case with a report that you're working on. If we want to add a column of data, but we don't know how much we have, there is a trick that you can do with OpenPy Excel that I will demonstrate right now. I start off with loading the workbook as WB and selecting that worksheet I just displayed as WS, and I will be saving the work in the cell below. So finding the last column of data is actually quite easy to do. Every single worksheet object in OpenPixel has a max column attribute. Let's see what the maximum column is for this worksheet. And here we can see the maximum column of this data set is 70. Just knowing the number, however, does not help us. We need to know the actual letter of that column. To find the letter of the column, I will need to use the get column letter function that is contained in the openpixel.utils module. This function accepts a number and returns the letter of the column. Right here, I'm going to assign the last column variable, the letter of the worksheet max column attribute. Now let's see what letter is returned. Here we can see we are returned the letters BR. To verify this is correct, let's open Excel. Navigating to the far right-hand side of our data, we can see that this is indeed correct. The last column that contains data is BR. If we want to add a new column of data, all we have to do is add one to the max column attribute. You can see that is what I am doing right here with the next column variable. I am assigning it the letter of the column one greater than the last column of data. This should be column 71 or column BS. The second line of code here is adding the string new data to the first row of that column. Let me go ahead and save and reopen the workbook to check the work. And here you can see column BS row one has that new data that we just input. So overall, it's quite simple to do. All you need to do is import the get column letter function, identify the max column number with the max column attribute of the worksheet, pass that number plus one to the get column letter function, and then use that returned letter in your cell assignment when you are adding new data. Thank you for watching. Please do let me know in the comments if this was a helpful video and let me know what other features of OpenPy Excel or Python in general you would like to see reviewed in further videos. Hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video and please do subscribe so that you can see when the next video drops.